Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Sunday, July 30th. So this is No Catchy Name Crochet Talk number two. <laughs> so if you missed it, I did start doing my weekly podcast again because I wanted to start making less videos so it's less stressful. But anyways, this is number two. So I got some finished objects to share with you guys, some whips, and some bags I want to share with you. <laughs> and yeah, it's kind of cluttered in the background. It's a craft area. It's supposed to be that way. <laughs> so uh, let's hop into it and I'll show you everything I've been doing this week. Alright, so let's just hop into finished objects. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, technically. <laughs> Three of them are the same thing, but we're going to count them as individual ones because it means that I got a lot of work done. <laughs> Anyways, so let's just hop in. So first, uh, you would have seen some of these if you watched my other videos. If you skipped some or accidentally missed them, then they might be new to you. And a couple of them I haven't showed yet. <laughs> or I haven't showed them all I finished. Let me gather them all up here. Okay, so first we'll start with this little pumpkin. This I made, and I made a short. I'm trying to get better at making shorts, but they're kind of hard to make. And um, the payout for them is so much lower than videos. Like uh, the ones that I got like a thousand views on, I got like seven cents. <laughs> so I don't know if it's actually worth the time to put in to making them. I mean, they'd have to go like super viral before you do you know, like anything worth making off of it. But they're kind of fun to try to be artsy with. But anyways, this is what I made. Cute little pumpkin treat bowl. So his top comes off and he's got candy in there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is a free pattern by, I just wrote it down, Meredith Crawford. I'll link it down below. And it was super quick and easy. I think I used a G hook. I think it called for an H hook, which is five millimeter. And I used a four millimeter because my tension is kind of tight. So I do usually have to size down or I'll have big holes. But uh, I made it, this is Red Heart Super Saver Pumpkin. <laughs> and this is a, um, a big twist, I believe yarn I'm not sure what it is it's just one I grabbed I went and grabbed just like I pulled out a few yards to make that with I didn't even look and see what um, one it was but it was one of these I think it's right there <laughs> and these the face is actually felt that my sister cut out on her Cricut I'm not sure if she's planning on putting those in her shop but she made a bunch of different sizes and uh I, I took some of them <laughs> and she also made some really big ones but it'd be cute I think for like trick-or-treat bags or pillows or like big pumpkins you make for like decorations so I will see if she's gonna put those in her shop um, she made this size and then she made a smaller size too that's smaller than this. That would be good for emigrammies. But I'll leave her shop. It's always linked below if you want to check it out. And she does have some other felt facial features, mouths and eyes and stuff for different types of emigrammies. But it was a super quick make. I made it while watching a movie one day and it went pretty quickly and pretty smoothly. I like it a lot. I'm planning on putting him on my little mantle thing. We call it a mantle. It's not really a mantle because we don't have a fireplace. But we just call it that. It's like a ledge. <laughs> um, but I think it's cute. I'll probably take this candy out though because I'll forget it's in there and it'll go bad. I'll probably stick something else in there just to help him keep this shape. Um, and he'll just be cute little decorations. The The pattern does have a leaf but I just I opted out because usually when you carve a pumpkin it's it's on its way to dying. You know you already picked it so that the top will be brown and, and if there's any leaves attached they'll you know be withering away. So I just opted out the leaf. But I think he's cute. So I'll leave it links below if you want to check it out. Alright on the same Halloweeniness. <laughs> I showed the other day in one of my 100 Days Halloween um, little candy corns that I'm making for the trick or treaters. Every month since January, I've been making three amigurumis that are Halloween themed to leave out with the candy bucket on my front porch for the trick or treaters. I did that last year a little bit. I made like nine or ten little ghosts and they all went. Uh, I still had candy and stuff left over, but all the little amigurumis went. So this year it was my goal to make three a month so that by Halloween I would have 30 to set out there. So I've been doing just different ones. I got a big bucket on my <laughs> um, dryer <laughs> that has them all in it. So now I finished the little candy corns I showed the other day. So they're they're just cute little candy corns. I made three of them. I love candy corn colors. It's always just so cheery. and Because um, I have little kids, so our Halloween is still fun and cheery Halloween. I won't be able to do like scary Halloween until they're teenagers, you know. But so I try to just focus on the fun part of Halloween, you know. And uh, this is perfect for that, I think, because it's so bright and cheery. You could opt to put a face. This is also a free pattern by uh, Line Brand. So I'll leave it linked below. It's a, I believe it's a free PDF download. Um, and it's super quick and easy. I made all three at the same time. Like, I did all the white, and then I did all the orange, and then I did all the yellow. <laughs> and then well, last night, yeah, I was standing up in there, and I stuffed them while the kids were playing later. I just stood there and <laughs> stuffed them and sewed them shut. And it was just a super quick, easy pattern. I believe I used an H hook, which is 5 millimeter. For these, I might have used a G, but I think it was H. 
and uh yeah so you can stuff them as little or as much as you want i kind of put a good amount in there because i want them kind of chunky <laughs> but i think these are cute and i think some kids will love them so they will be going into my bucket to set out for halloween along with some candy for the neighborhood kids but these are fun and quick make and i love the colors i'm wanting to make june a little candy corn dress i feel like i've seen a pattern for one of those but I could easily just take any little girl dress pattern and change it up. I'm also thinking about making her costume this year because I found a witch um, dress and hat for little girls. And I think it would be so cute. So I'm, I might be putting that on my hook pretty soon. We'll see. Alright, so my next uh, finished object was my last Christmas extravaganza that I was uh, participating in with k, &K Crochet. Um, they got, let's see, today and tomorrow will be their last days of it. But they got all those videos you can go back and check. And she made a playlist of all her videos plus all the patterns that have tutorials so you can go and check it out anytime you want if you want to go get um what am i trying to say like if you want to remember what she all shared and if you want to go back you know in the future and look for gift ideas but the one that i made is called the happy daisy glasses pouch and it's by alexis middleton it is a free pattern as well and here's what i made <laughs> It's supposed to be a daisy, but I made it sunflower colors because I'm going to give this to my mom, and she loves sunflowers. And I just thought the blue went nice with it. And I do still have to put the button on there. I still haven't done that. <laughs> but I have to purchase a button because I don't really have... I have some white buttons, which I don't think will look, look good with this. And I also have, like, some random character ones. Um, I wonder if I have any more ladybug ones. That might be cute. But uh, I'll figure it out. But it's just a glasses case. I, I did use an H-hook for this. <laughs> and you make basically a big, long strip. It was 14 inches long. And then you fold it in half and you sew up the sides and then you make this little flower part separate and it's just a half circle and then the petals and then you sew it on there to be the flap and then you just put a button and it makes a little glasses case my glasses i don't remember where i set them <laughs> uh they fit in there perfectly and like big sunglasses would fit in there uh pretty much any kind of glasses would fit in there maybe even safety glasses and stuff like that but so that was my technically fifth finished object but just three different patterns. <laughs> Alright, and my last two finished objects are free patterns by Repeat Craft Your Me. And it is two of the squares for the animal square blanket that she's been doing since January. Uh, these are the two that I forgot about. <laughs> and I just got busy with life and forgot all about this pattern. Uh, so I went back and did it. So, um, let's see, June's was the hippo. And I made my hippo gray. Because <laughs> hippos are purple. I don't know why people always make them purple. But, um... I was talking to, to someone about that the other day. I thought it was funny. But I made mine just two shades of gray. And I'm not exactly sure what gray shades they are. Because I pulled out... A lot of my skeins back here are like half-used skeins. And they don't have ball bands anymore. That one looks like it's falling apart. I need to fix that. I'll deal with that later. <laughs> but I know this is... Um, uh, <laughs> I thought I knew what it was. Oh, it's just yarn from the Dollar Tree. And it's the Aaron White. It's the little bit chunkier one. I used for his uh, nose and the border. And this is probably a red heart, and then this is why. And I've used the 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter safety eyes. And I think I finally decided what I'm going to do with these squares. Instead of making a blanket, because it would be small, I think I'm going to make a pillow and with six squares on each side and then do like a border around it. I think that'd be cute. And then July's was a pig. This is my pig. <laughs> I accidentally, somehow his ears turned out huge. And they were like way down here. So I did kind of like bubble them up a little bit, and then I stitched them down here as well as up here. So they're kind of up. <laughs> and uh, it does have a tail, a little curly tail, but I didn't do that because, I mean, it's the front of the pig. <laughs> I, I didn't want to add the um, the curly tail to the front. I, you know, you can still tell it's a pig. <laughs> but I just think they're so cute. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pillow. It'd be kind of a big pillow, but you know, it'd be like a good to have around in one of the kids' areas or in the living room pillow, just for being cute. <laughs> but I think that's what I'm going to do because that way, because um, I have a lot of blankets going around. That way I don't have just random blankets everywhere. And that way I also don't have to line it. Because I've just been kind of doing this with my ends. <laughs> but um, I think a pillow would be cute. That's what I think I'm going to do with it. So that is all my finished objects. Kind of a lot of them. But it's all little stuff. So Which I like doing. I like having quick little projects. Because it makes you feel like you did something. In between all the big ones. So my big whips are still my sweater. Which is in this bag right here. I haven't worked on it at all. <laughs> I'll probably pick it up this next week. Because i got to share an update for it. On the 12th of August. So, in the next week or two, I'll be working some on that. i got to start working on the sleeves. It's just kind of an in-the-background project. I work on it just like once a month. Um, I like how we have it spread out to over like six months, I think it was, or more than that. <laughs> so, that it's not like, like I don't feel like I have to work on it all the time. My next active whip is a spiderweb shawl. I showed this. Oops, that was the hook. 
I showed this also in um, one of the Halloween videos. This is a free pattern as well, and it's called Spooky Spiderweb Shawl by a Little Bit of Foolishness, and I'll leave it linked below. I'm getting all untangled. <laughs> I'm almost done. I only got four uh, rounds left. Four in a little bit, because apparently I stopped in the middle of a round, which I don't like doing, but that's because we left earlier. Let me pull my yarn out so I don't rip it out. And also, June got a hold of it earlier, and she ripped out some of it. But uh, it's just a shawl that is a spiderweb. There is a fly flying around here. I got in. When the door is open, I gotta get that little guy out of here. Okay, I'm trying to hold it. <laughs> I'm on the big old chain pieces now. I'm chaining like, um, I think it's 30 something each row. See all these chains? <laughs> so it's getting pretty big. So the, the purpose of this shawl, I mean, you can wear it like a regular shawl, but in the pictures, everybody who's wearing it is wearing it kind of like this. And then once it's all the way done, they like attach it over here somewhere like a shawl clip or something a little stitch marker you know if that would work and then i'm going to put an ambergrimy spider right there i think i'm going to pull down one of my um either like a bright purple or one of my bright greens something that will pop you know that'll be there because on halloween i'll probably wear a black shirt so that the spider web will pop and then i want like a a bright spider right there uh and i might i thought i might also put a smaller one on the back like hanging off of it <laughs> well, that'd be cute but this is what it looks like so far. It's looking pretty cool. Ain't that cool? And I've still got about four, I think four rows to go. So it's going to be a bit longer. And you could keep growing if you wanted it to be huge. <laughs> you could make it as big or small as you want. And uh, you could even make two of them and make like a spiderweb poncho. That would be cool. I've seen patterns for those too, though. You could just find a pattern. But I just like, this is cool. It's mostly chains. And then um, it starts with tri regular triple crochets. And then after some point, it does double triples. And then triple triples, and I'm about to get to quadruple triples. <laughs> the last three rounds is where you do quadruple triples. Ugh. That's where you wrap the yarn around the hook five times, and then you start making the triple crochet, you know, and it just builds up really tall. Right now I'm doing uh, triple triples. <laughs> uh, so it's coming along though. I really like it. I'm excited. It would have been fun to make this also not like a bright crazy color, like a bright green or something. And then wear it over a black shirt on Halloween. Or even some like glow-in-the-dark yarn. Which I've never bought because it's kind of expensive. You only get like 200 yards for like $8. But I can't wait to finish it and wear it. You'll probably see this a lot over Vlogtober. Because I'll probably wear it to um, like all the trunk or treats and things that we do. Because it's cute. And then I want to make some kind of... If I can't find it, I want to... I'm, I'm not sure what I want. <laughs> Maybe something with spiders or something. I don't know. I'm going to try to find some kind of headdress type thing that I can make to go along with it. But I'm loving this pattern. I'm just using, this is just a big old jumbo of Red Heart Super Saver Soft White, but it's like a weird color one. It's more like an Aran color. I think it's like the dial lot messed up or something, but I like it. <laughs> so, um, I'm, I'm enjoying making this. It's kind of a tedious with all the chains, but it's all right. It's, it's actually going really fast. If I could just sit down without kids bugging me and stuff and like having them, you know, do laundry and dinner and stuff, <laughs> I could get that done probably in one setting because it's just chains and random triple crochets that is also a h hook which is five millimeter apparently i favored that hook five and g a lot this last week i'm gonna pick my hook up off the ground all right so my last active whip is my halloween blanket that i started vlogtober 2021 2021 when i was pregnant <laughs> um so i did i've showed this before i started with the square in the middle which is a tutorial it's a youtube tutorial i will link it down below and it's a spider whip sh um square goes with my shawl. <laughs> I like it a lot. And then I've just been adding on to it. 2021 I added onto it. 2022 I added onto it. And now 2023 I'm adding onto it. And it's already getting pretty big. So this might be the last year. Who knows? I'm going to be working on it between now all the way through Halloween time. Uh, so it's, it could potentially get a lot bigger. But I've just been adding random yarns to it over the last few days. <laughs> I know I added some purples and greens and yellows, oranges, white, I pulled out a red I'm going to use next. Tonight when I sit down to work on it, I'm going to attach red to this yellow and add some red to it. I'm trying to stick with the same colors. I just put myself in the eye. <laughs> uh, that I used in the original the original year. The only difference is there is a scrap ball in here with blue and pink in it. It's like, um, it's red, it's not, um, bright light. It's red heart, um, neon stripes maybe, I think it's what it's called. It's got the bigger chunks of color instead of Black light is like uh, the little chunks. Um, that's the only blue and pink that's in the whole blanket. 
is that one ball. There's the pink down there. But I've been trying to stick with just um, purples, blacks, whites, yellows, reds, oranges, greens. I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep it Halloween colors. But uh, yeah, I think that was the second year. Maybe the first year. I don't know. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's going good. I'm getting to the point where I'm going to add some more appliques. I found a skull and crossbones that I'm going to put on there. And then I might put some, um, I might want, I want to try to find like a bat applique because I like bats too. And stick some bats on there. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my Halloween blanket. It's come along. It's, it's pretty big. I like how big it is. But I want it bigger. I want it to be like a movie blanket, you know, that I can snuggle under with one of the kids or both of the kids and watch Hocus Pocus or uh, Hocus Pocus 2. <laughs> What's another the Halloween Town movies, any of those kid-friendly Halloween movies that we always watch every October. Um, yeah, but that's that's my plan. And this I am supposed to be using the eye hook, which is 5.5 millimeter, but I have accidentally used a J on it recently. And last night the whole yellow is with an H hook. For whatever reason, I grabbed H hook, so you can tell the difference, like the tightness in the stitches, from the other day and today. So it's gonna be kind of all over the place. And I thought I started it with double crochets. And now I'm doing half double crochets. So I thought maybe as it gets longer, maybe I'll switch it up and put some triples or something in there. Um, and then probably the last few rounds, I might do single crochets or something just to kind of tighten it up and give it a border. I don't know. I'll figure it out <laughs> when I get there. But I love the colors. I love these crazy blankets. I love these scrappy top blankets. I just, it's just happy. I'm an eclectic person, so I love stuff like this. <laughs> but that is everything I've been working on this week. That's a lot of stuff, I think. I feel like it is. I know some people like pop out stuff like crazy but I do have a toddler who's crazy and a seven-year-old who is also crazy <laughs> and I'm a little bit crazy too so I've, I got a lot of house stuff and stuff like that too so I don't get to crochet as much as I used to I don't get to sew as much as I used to but I do if you can see right here there's a stack I was cutting fabric yesterday for tote bags that'll be in the next shop update along with a few uh, drawstring bags and notion pouches that were left over from this update because I ran out of labels but I do have some bags that are still in the shop I'm gonna show them to you real quick and as of me recording, they're still in the shop if you want to check them out. Let me get these. Okay, so there's two sets left. One is a succulent print, which I love. All kinds of little succulents in it. And it does come with a matching Notions pouch. <laughs> Fold it up. And then the second set is this cute corn print. I love this. It's just a corky, corny, goofy print, which is stuff that I love. <laughs> and it also comes with a matching Notions pouch. And then the rest of them are just bags by themselves. So there's this pretty beachy with um, starfish. I always forget that. There's pretty starfish print. And then there's this firefighter print. I like how vibrant these colors are. It's really pretty fabric. And then the last of the Christmas in July prints is two. There's two of these left of this cute gingerbread cookie print and it's got little Christmas tree cookies and uh, looks like lollipops and pretzels and uh, candy canes and peppermints on there. It's really pretty. There's two of those. So those are all the ones that's currently left in the shop and I'm planning, I was planning on today starting sewing but I don't know if I'll get around to doing it because uh, I don't have my labels yet. They're they're supposed to come tomorrow <laughs> in the P.O. box. Um, so I thought I might go ahead and start quilting and stuff just getting ready for when I get the labels I can cut them all out and then start finishing up those bags but there's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 tote bags and they're going to have pockets on the inside and they're going to have snap closures and the handles you know um yeah because I already got all the pockets and everything cut they're all cut and ready to go the only thing I do still need to cut out is the uh batting that makes them squishy you know like blankets uh I gotta get that big old roll out of Jesse's closet it's huge uh, and drag it in here and cut them all out. Uh, that's like my least favorite part <laughs> of making the tote bags is dealing with that big roll of batten because it's huge. It's it's almost as tall as I am and sometimes it's as round as I am until I start using it and it gets skinnier. Um, but yeah, so that'll be the next shop update. I'm, I'm hoping, let's see here. I would love to get it this next coming weekend, not like the first weekend of August, but because of life, I probably won't. It depends on Devin if he doesn't have to work any overtime or anything this week. I might be able to get them out this next coming weekend, which is like the 6th, I think, 6th, 7th of August. But if not that weekend, it'll for sure be the next week after that sometime. Because um, I make my bags in assembly style, so I usually try to get one whole step done a day. I usually put in like two hours of sewing a day or something like that and try to get stuff done. Uh, I can usually get done with all my bags because I, I know how many I can make at a time. You know, 
I usually try to make it to where it's like three or four days of two to three hours of sewing so that it's not taking up all my time. Anyways, they'll be in the shop eventually. Those are the ones that's still in the shop. And I showed you all my whips. I showed you all my finished objects. All the links will be down below. I didn't get any happy mail this week because I was supposed to get a package on Saturday, but it's still in Nashville. So I think they're all three going to come tomorrow. One is my labels. One is a package from a friend. I have no idea who it is or what it is. And one is a piece of fabric that I ordered from Etsy like a month ago because it's like um, it's made to order fabric that I'm going to make bags with to enter into Heather the Crochet Witches Stranger Summer um, crochet along, make along thing because um, it doesn't end until September. So I have plenty of time to make those bags from it. And uh, so it's Stranger Things themed fabric. <laughs> But uh, I'll share it with you guys when I get it, and I'll make the bags and show them to you, too. I plan on keeping one, and I thought about either selling the other one or maybe gifting it to somebody. Because I know a few people who like Stranger Things a whole lot. Heather's one of them. <laughs> um, I love Stranger Things. I can't wait till the next season comes out, but I feel like it's going to be forever <laughs> until it does. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because I've been blabbing for like 20 minutes. I'm going to put all my stuff away, and I'm going to go crochet for a little while until the baby wakes up. She's in a nap, and I'm going to kill that fly, I think. I guess I shouldn't kill it. I should just try to shoot it outside. I'm trying not to kill animals because, I mean, even flies are animals, you know. But I'm going to try to shoot it out the door. <laughs> There's gnats, too. Um, ugh, I hate summer, and I hate living in the south sometimes because there's so many other things living in your house when you live in the south and in the country part of the south. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go off here and try to edit this and get it up for you. I meant to do it this morning, and we ended up going to play Pokemon Go, and it's community day. Uh, and we were gone for like hours for that. We just got back and then now Devin went to his dad's to pick up some brisket because his dad smoked a brisket <laughs> and I stayed home because the baby fell asleep and we didn't want to wake her up to take her. But anyways, all that to say, I will see you guys in another video, hopefully Whip Wednesday because I accidentally missed the last two weeks <laughs> doing that just from life and I should do some more Halloween videos. I think I missed the last two days, but it's just laugh. I, that's my excuse, but it's, it's true. <laughs> so I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Share it if you think someone else will like it. <laughs> Subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys.